Well, hey there, it's Sandy, and I hope you enjoyed that little silly bit of typography. (laughs) Every time I do a new class, I go through that. And I should just pick one font and everything would be in the same font and be done with it. That would be great. But I don't do that because I am a not yet recovered graphic designer and I want to use all the fonts I've purchased over my lifetime. (laughs) Anyway, let's get to this one. This is the Coral Enchantment class a long awaited one for many of you who like to make scenes. And this one is all underwater. Each lesson focuses on a different type of coral, different handling of the water, different way to make the fish, that sort of stuff. And there's 10 lessons and half of them are horizontal and half of them are vertical and all are slim line. And being a level four class, you probably should have some good coloring experience under your belt, but these are not super difficult. There's a lot of things I did in my studies of corals to figure out the easiest ways to handle some of them and hopefully have translated that into the lessons for you in almost three hours of narrated video. The title of this video said that I needed your help with something though, and you might notice all the cards shown here say hello on them. That's it. Just hello. I had one stamp that I got out when I was making the cards and that's it. My original idea for this was to take not only this class, but the other two enchantment classes and create a set of sentiments for them and then put that as a downloadable in the class. And the sentiments would go with the types of scenes that there are in it. And I thought that would be a cool idea that you could print them out and trim them out and stick them onto your card and be done with it. And I'm looking for sentiment ideas. So if you have some, leave them in comments. Because right now I have zero brain power left. There is nothing between my ears at the moment because my mind is elsewhere. Got more family stuff going on. I'm not going to talk about it here, but I just posted about it in Art Venture this week. So if you want to keep up with what's what's shaking, that's where to find out. But This course did get done nonetheless. I'm like excited that I finally at least got it finished. I know it's the middle of August, maybe not a whole lot of great timing in this one because it should have been maybe released in May or June. So you could use it all summer, but you can make scenes like this during the fall, right? You can still do that. You can do them any time of year. You can make them like red and green corals and make them Christmas cards, right? So uh, do me a favor and leave me comments with your ideas for sentiments. I also had planned when I was thinking about all of this of, you know, drawing some more attention to the other two enchantment classes and also doing sentiments for those. But obviously, if I didn't get this one done, I didn't get those done either, the sentiments for them. So I thought I'd show them to you so you can get an idea of the types of scenes that are in them. These are the cards that were made during the original class. It was called Copic Enchantment many years ago, and it has scenes in forests, and some of them are nighttime, some of them are daytime, but they all have little sparkling magic going on, that kind of thing. That's where the word enchanted came from. There's also some great garden scenes with flowers in them, so if you like to draw flowers, those are wonderful. And then this arch has been super popular. I keep seeing it pop up on social media. So I know that's one of the lessons that a lot of people have loved, but I tried to keep it very rainbow colored and whimsical and that sort of thing and using uh, bright, happy, cheerful colors, etc. And if you're interested in taking these with another brand of markers, you can certainly do that. You can see the list of colors that are in the pre-class lesson and figure out what conversion charts are going to work for you to find different colors in your brand. This one is the winter enchantment course. And this one has obviously winter scenes in it, again, with no sentiments on them whatsoever. So I'd love to have some good ideas. If there's maybe even poetry that comes to mind when you see some of these scenes, things that that you think would work well for these types of cards, that would be awesome. I'm even thinking it might be cool to have an interior panel. So if you do a panel on a dark card and you need to put a liner in it anyway, that maybe I could come up with some things that would be laid out as though it were the interior of a card. So that might be another option to do to make this more valuable to 
all of you, those who are taking the courses. So all three of these are linked on one page over on my website, just so that you could find all three of them at once, but there's also a link to the full website. So if you would like to take a class and help a girl out, because I got stuff going on and I don't know what's, I don't know what's headed my way, but it's been that kind of a year and I'm trying to just roll with the punches. So I will let you do what you will with uh, the links in the doobly-doo. Go sign up for a course and give me some ideas for sentiments because I would like to finally get that idea out of my head and stop waking up in the middle of the night thinking, I still haven't done that thing yet. So go, go draw some fish and some coral or some flowers or forests or even get your Christmas card started. I will see you guys later on. Take care. <laughs>